Hello and welcome back to Sakya Trizen in the Jade Empire DLC for Crusader Kings 2. So, we have lost our tributary, we have lost our religion. We need to figure out something to do. We have a reasonably sized military, but not stronger than anyone around us. I'm trying to fabricate claims on Chand, but that's about our only option for expanding outwards. I'm still of the opinion though, it's better to stay independent for just now as we will make more money independent. And the people around us aren't declaring like conquest, they're declaring vassalization wars, which I think would make us their vassal, which seems absolutely fine to me, if that's the way that they want to play it. So, yeah. We'll continue building up, getting our um, cash in, and see how we can go. My daughter has got pneumonia. Well, that's not good. We'll call for our half-brother to try and cure her. See how that goes. My concubine is pregnant, once again. Okay, because we've lost the negative fertility that we have, so we're gonna actually get a lot more children than I was initially planning on. Most of them are daughters though, which is interesting. Ooh, you've collected more money for me. Extra 32 gold. Young Sundar just walked up to me today, striking up conversation. We ended up having a long talk about a great many things. So we can say, be gone, Bengali hel heretic, or how nice. You know what? How nice. Well, we'll have the niceness. What's this one? So he follows a branch of Hinduism. Okay. Um, yeah, it spoke um, to him at length about a great many things. Uh, we laughed a lot. It seems I've made a new friend. What a nice child. We're friends of this six-year-old. who is ugly and affectionate. Okay. Interesting. We're still gaining our prestige, which is all right. My marshal discovered a man of great military talent named Trisumji, who is willing to serve my ranks. Excellent. Fantastic. Well done. Good job. Um, you should be training troops, because uh, I kind of want you to do that, but whatever. Good job. Um, we're going to replace our half-brother as a commander. We're instead going to put this new guy in there, um, who has amazing marshal... Him and, our, and my wife are a fantastic pairing. Um, how many men can we have max now? We need to maybe wait. We have 3,000 max men. That's pretty good. It's, it's a reasonable amount. It's not amazing, but it's reasonable. We have another son. We have a second son named Con Shakya Lodro. Okay. That seems reasonable. Uh, is there anything else we can build? Um, might want to go into barracks. Can we build a retinue? We could, uh, although actually we don't. We cannot quite build a retinue because we don't quite have enough cap. Okay, that's reasonable. Your messenger tells of a traveler who recently arrived in Manguel. The traveler, a Han scholar by the name of Dong Shen Yu, is apparently requesting an audience. He claims to be a renowned teacher willing to impart his knowledge to one of your children. So we could bring him to court. So we can bring this uh, traveling teacher to teach uh, our son. Our heir. That seems very reasonable. Our son currently has chest pains. I'm not entirely okay with that, but I will bring this uh, teacher to court. The traveling teacher bows before you and says, I humbly greet the honored Shirab Sultrim of the county of Sakura. My name is Dong Shen Yu, and I come with an offer. For a modest sum, I would be willing to impart one of my many skills to your son, Shirab Trulstrom, for I am a scholar of both Confucian classics and surgery. Interesting. So I could teach him to read faster to get more learning. Okay. I could get him taught in the classics and make him Eritrude. Okay. Make him interested in books. And it would get him some church opinion. So he'd actually get three learning from that one. So it's a little bit better. It does cost more money. Or we could t teach him the basics of poetry. Hmm. We should get him learning and diplomacy. Um, you know what? I want you to teach him the basics of surgery and poetry. The obvious combination. Yeah, that went alright. I also want to see if there's more event chains. Arranged marriage. You would like Dura, our courtier, um, to marry this guy of the Pala Kingdom. I'm going to decline for just now. Uh, we can righteously imprison our wife because our wife is trying to kill our first son. Who presumably is not... Uh, yeah, because our daughter would then be next in line? No. But she's still trying to kill him. Well. I think we imprison our wife. 
That much seems like a very good start. And then I think, um, you know what? I think we might just release her again. I, th I think that's how we're going to deal with it. We're just going to imprison her and release her. That will get rid of the plot. It, it's kind of just like, you know, don't do it again. Right. In our commander, we have a few claims we can still press. Not amazingly easy to press, but that's fine. Um, we are still gaining some money. It's good. Um, anything else we could go and attack? Not really. We're still after that Shan land over there. Nepal's still a little bit out of our reach. We have another concubine pregnant. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of want these Nepal to be attacked at some point, but it's, it's difficult to get in the right spot. So they're defending against the Mustang Conquest of Lumbini. So that'll be these guys. Or oh, the Matang, is it? Is It does say the Mustang Conquest, so maybe these guys are Mustangs? No? No idea why it's called the Mustang Conquest. Interesting. Um, so they are currently losing. Oh, but the Pala Kingdom are here as well. Okay. Um, so they're probably going to win. The Pala Kingdom has a lot of troops that can support this. So yeah, it's not going to be ideal for us if we were to attack in there. There's, there's a chance we could get something to happen, but... The problem is the 3,000 troops that are there right now are not really going to just move out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Um, a famous herald, well-versed in diplomatic protocols, arrived at our court. Perfect, we'll have him at our court. His name started with an N. His name, was this him? I don't think that was him. Um, was somebody better? Maybe that was him. Uh, let's sort by name. We should be able to find it under N. Maybe it was like a title? I have no idea. Maybe, that, maybe it is that guy and he's just awful. I thought it was a shorter name, that's why I'm confused. Maybe I just misread it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We got someone new in our court and that's generally not a bad thing. We have another daughter. Nice, we have a, a lot of daughters. Like, a really, really large number of daughters. Are we still teaching our son? No, our half-brother is currently educating our son. Interesting. Yeah, that's right, because he, he is our educator. That just yeah, it works out perfectly. My lord. Begins a note from my uh, Lo Chen. Uh, Mukundan. Mukundan Arana. Mukundan Aranian? Something like that. Anyway. The writing of your manuscript has come to a halt. Our eldest scholar and most experienced scribe has passed away. He recommends investing in more scribes or risk a lower quality of work. Yeah. For, if it's 12 gold, funding is not an issue. Any more than that, maybe I'll start thinking about it, but funding is not an issue right now. Okay, how many men do Pala have left? It's an important thing to check. They have 4,000. Is this their only war? Yeah, so they've got full focus on it. These guys only have 1,000. There's potential here for something, but not quite yet. I've been making more time to spend... i um, been making an effort to spend more time with my half-brother. Nice. Good. Um, they just lost a bunch of troops. Do they still have 4,000? Still says they have 4,000, so... Yeah. wonder if they have troops doing something else, or whether they just have their army split in two. I'm not 100% sure. We have our claim. Alright, it costs 64 gold, but 100% worth it. Where do we want the next claim after this? It's important to look at that and think, think straight away. I think this one's our next claim. That seems like a good choice. Uh, let's go and fabricate claims over in... Oh, wait. Or maybe we want to fabricate claims over here. Yeah, that one seems like a much better choice because they're um, right next to where we're going to be attacking. So we'll fabricate claims on that one. This guy, no allies, low number of troops. He's a smartest. You know, nobody likes the smartest. It almost worked as a joke. You gotta admit, it almost worked. Anyway. Uh, let's let's go for this war. Get our men together. Do we have 3,000? Yeah, roughly. Our wife will have ourselves and we'll have, um, well, our third commander. Although our third commander should probably have that land and we should probably have the bad land. 
the bad, uh, like, army, just because, I mean, it's gonna fall anyway. We'll see. We got more money. That's nice. It's good. Head over this way. Attacking in. It is into mountains, but we have three times the troops, so I think it's gonna be worth it to do it. We instantly won this side, which is pretty nice. We haven't lost uh, our side yet. In fact, we have more men than them on our weak side, so this is gonna be very easy as a war go, uh, like as wars go. Yeah, that was that was simple. Uh, we should just build to siege it. Yeah, no reason to do anything else apart from siege, because if we siege it, we get 100% war score. So seems to be a good plan. Let's keep going. Sieging is a little bit quicker, actually, apparently, in this patch, but um, it's the reason I said defensive play is kind of buffed is if you get your fort level up, sieging is not as quick. Like, sieging is a lot slower, at least from what it said in the patch notes. So the idea is, if you want your land to be kind of difficult to siege, you've got to uh, actually build it up, which I like as a change. I think it's really cool. It's, it's an interesting way of doing it. Of trying to make fort level better is by making sieging better if you don't have fort level. I, I like it. Anyway, offer peace and force demands. This is now our county. We're going to keep it because it's within our domain size. Uh, we are going to lose money on it for a long time, but that's all right. We can disband these troops. We could potentially attack these guys straight away over a border dispute or tributary state. We need more prestige for that. Border dispute would lose us a lot of opinion. Tribute. Um, if we win the war, we would gain prestige, which would put us into positive prestige so we could do other wars. We would probably want to move where that guy is doing his stuff, but that's doable. We'll move that guy over there. This one has zero packs, so we're going to declare a war for a tributary. We're going to then get all of our men together. Going to disband the 13 over there because they're a little bit difficult to merge. Get our men and put them over this way. He's just going to accept. Actually, no. We want the prestige, so we have to do the war. Okay. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Uh, we have lost this uh, trait temperate. Okay. Um, that's bad. It means we lose stewardship. But overall, could be worse. Gonna head down this way. We, of course, are going to have our better leader on this, and we're going to have um, ourselves on that flank. I'm going to continue heading down this way. It's come to my attention that the Lochan of Lays, Degal, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognize the claim of my title. Oh. So, uh, Lays up here is trying to fabricate claims on me, but I'm way stronger than him, so it doesn't matter. So you would like me to buy you some books on her anatomy and herbalism. This is our half-brother. Yeah, definitely. That seems good. He used to claim my title, but he has less men than me, so I don't care. He's not going to press it. Uh, my half-brother has let me know that the new books were ancient and contained nothing of value. Apparently the methods to describe are outright deadly. Oh well, at least he knows what not to use, I guess. Okay. Uh, we're going to go siege his capital. Because we can, basically. Yeah, he's sieging down the land that we just sieged. I'm not too worried about that. We are taking a little bit of attrition here, but I'm okay. We should be fine. Overall, it's not that much attrition. Yeah, we're going to take that land as well. Everyone knows that I've spent several years directing the work of my book, when today uh, I'm presented with the final product. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but common maladies and remedies is certainly something. I feel inspired. So we get uninspired and then, or I felt inspired, but now I'm uninspired and we got the book. Okay. What's uninspired mean? We can't do more creative stuff for another 20 years. Fair enough. Now we have a book, which we can't use because we would have to be ill. If we became ill, we would get more health because we know how to cure it. Like we, we know the, oh, I like that as a book. It's kind of like, um, you know, it's a defense against illness. It's really good. News from China. Uh, okay, it looks like the uh, Wu Stang people over here are um, 
yeah, they're going to be part of the tributaries of the Western Protectorate, so... Wait, was that what it said? Did I misread that entirely? Maybe they said that they weren't. Oh, I think that they said that they weren't going to become a Protectorate. And that they're now in a war for it. Oh. I thought it was the same event again. Sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll get it next time. It looks like China are expanding pretty massively. Okay. We siege down their capital a little bit. What land is this? This is hills. That's a little bit more tempting to attack into. I'm going to continue sieging their land while they don't question me. That seems fair. Yeah. And the last one. It's going fairly quickly because we have a lot more men. They attacked into us. Um, our flank fell straight away, but we should still win, maybe? E uh, no. Not quite. No, we actually lost heavily. Okay. That's not good. It's... Oh, wait. They also called someone else into the war. How did they do that? Uh, of Chandler Raj. Oh, wait. Is that that army, or is there... Dalaraj are also in this war. Interesting. Alright, interesting. How did he manage to call him in? I thought he didn't have any allies. Maybe he didn't, and he, and he gained an ally after the war started. Uh, it looks like I'm not too worried about Champalaraj anymore, because their entire army just got wiped out. You know, that's pretty good. Is there a way to arrange this better? Not really. We could get a mercenary group if there is any going. There is, in fact, one. It's a little expensive for our tastes. Um, let's see. Boats, boats. That's a little bit better. If we if we hire them, which we have, we have to go instantly into battle. There's no other option. We have a claim. We let it go for just now? Or do we take it? We let it go because we can't afford the mercenaries if we take it. There we go. That's fine. Head over this way. We're attacking in. This is planes. We have more men. This should be a nice, easy fight for us. We are destroying them. Okay, that's good. I'm now going to assault that down. I'm going to assault the next one down. Because we've already taken them before. I think we also assault this one down. We take the gold. Nice. Uh, do we chase down their army? Maybe not. Are we still making money with this? No, we're losing money. That's fine. Um, a few days ago, you noticed an intriguing woman at your court. Um, most of the time, she sat quietly and did not draw any attention to herself. However, you could tell that she was listening very intently to the conversation and nothing escaped her watchful eyes. Perhaps you have a use for her talents. A hunchback, a uh, master seductress, intrigue lady. She could be our spy master. Well, definitely. She could also be our concubine. Alright, we're going to take her as a spy master. Oh no, she's already married to this guy. She was, she was, oh, she's the wife of our other, oh, she is the wife of our other spy master. Like, of our old one. That's a very interesting situation. Child, child needs an education one? Oops, I didn't give her one. Oops, so we'll give her, Ooh, I don't know. Why don't you have faith? There we go. And you need an actual education. You have Willful. You have Fussy. Marshall would be fairly good. Intrigue would also be fairly good. With Fussy, it goes well under Intrigue, doesn't it? Yeah. Willful is generally pretty good anyway. Both of these are going to lead to a good character. I think we maybe take Intrigue. Because it's a little bit different. There we go. We're going to head up here. Do you want to assault this down or just siege? Or do I want to go after their army? It's kind of... I kind of want to keep this army up until I go after them. Range patrol though between our daughter and her son. Definitely, yes. This is our third line daughter, but that's still fine. Um, and her son. So we can... Can we get an alliance? No. Political concern stopper. This child needs an education focus. Um, diplomacy, I think. Yeah, that works out. And then this child needs to get something. We'll give him a nice, um, give him duty for just now. 
And then this child also needs something. Why don't we give her humility? Just because we haven't given anyone humility yet. Right, I want to attack down here. I want this fight. I think we can win it if we take it straight away. Do we have the best leaders? We could replace ourselves with this guy. We're a little bit better, so I think we'll take it. We have better leaders. We have reasonable sized armies. They do have special units. They do have elephants. I think we're going to win. We are going to win because they're leader. Oh my god, we didn't win. It looked like we were going to win for so long there. I was so confident in that that I just went for it. But we didn't win. Interesting. The, the war elephants that just kind of caught me off guard. Uh, the people of uh, Yutusang probably never knew why the great emperor chose to attack them. Regardless, they have suffered a crushing defeat and the Han armies are journeying home to celebrate. Their victory has finally been declared. The Song Empire won a war against them, which I guess means that these guys are now part of the Western Protectorate. I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous at where they are. I'm also starting to feel a little bit nervous in this war as we, um... Yeah, we're now losing, and we're losing a lot of money on this army, although we probably are gaining money now overall. We're not losing as much. Okay, we'll let them recharge. We only pay for the army that's actually there, which is nice. Jira, it's not appropriate for us to make a move on you right now. Okay, let's think about how we can do this. A character owes us a favor, Anna Chan. Um, we could call in our council support, but we don't really need to do that right now. Yeah, we are losing this war quite significantly because of all the battles we've lost. I would like to regenerate and then go on attack, but we'll see. This guy is trying to assert my title. He's apparently trying to find documents and supporters to legitimize it. Well, probably for this guy, I imagine. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. Um, We'll let him be for just now. Yeah. Uh, I can't stop thinking about all those prisoners in my dungeons. I'm not going to torture them. I might ransom them for money so that we can continue the war. That's a real possibility. But torture? Not really. There we go. Well, we'll start ransoming them back. I'll let us afford these mercenaries for another couple of months. They don't quite have the money for that person, so we'll wait. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, news from, Chan uh, from China. The Chinese son of heaven has died and been ascended by uh, Zhao Zhaozong. Like his predecessor, the new emperor is known to believe in an open China. Apparently, he takes a special interest in wealth, but frowns upon the Mazdan re religions. Business as usual, then, as it says. Yeah, he likes wealth. He likes money. Well, wow. what an unusual character. Um, I do want to attack down here. Or at least go siege down here. I want to go siege their capital back. If I can. Let's see if we can. Not quite. Uh, we would get a hill bonus here. Can we leave? No. So I guess we're going to have to take our hill bonus and hope we win. Uh, you. I'm going to give you a martial education. There we go. We It's going to be a difficult fight. I think we're going to lose it. But I'm going to take it anyway. Let's see what we got. So we have better leaders. We have a bonus because we have hills. So they give us better attack. They do have their special units. What special units do they have? War elephants. Yeah, okay. So they have huge defense bonuses. Which is probably what got us in the last battle. They also don't take negatives from hills. No. Okay. So pikemen, archers, and horse archers get bonuses in hills. We do have some pikemen, but not a lot. We do have some archers, but not a lot. Hills aren't amazing for us. They're okay. They make our army slightly better, but they're not amazing. They are losing more men, however, in this fight to start with. They also have more men to lose. Yeah. We are losing morale, though. Very quickly. This side's falling, but... Oh, dear. Um. Yeah, we're, 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 we're out. We're out. Peace out. Run from the battle. Um... Yeah, we, we lost that war. Uh, we'll surrender. Yeah, we have to pay them a lot of money. Not a real fan of that. And we lost all the prestige that we gained for all the battles. Yeah, it's not ideal. Get rid of the mercenaries before they attack us. Yeah, so we're now losing a lot of money. 
And we lost our chance effectively to attack these guys, which would have been good. Okay. Let's head back in disgrace, basically. Uh, disband. It was worth a try. It was worth a try, okay? You gotta try and expand, otherwise you're just gonna run into nothingness. You're trying to kill Conjurab Tulsrum. Don't kill our son. No. She, she has fled to a different court. Oh no. Well, that's not good. Um, I really don't want her... Wait, she wasn't trying to kill her son. She was trying to kill us. So her son could take power, I think. Oh no. No, that's not on at all. You're not allowed to try and kill us. Anyway, it's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.